Hello, hello, happy Friday, everybody. It's Friday, it's time for a, another round of Friday sews. I hope you're as hooked on Friday sews as I am. It's just a little bit of life, a little bit of sewing, a little bit of fun, and I'm not the only one. I just wanna say a thank you to Jen from In Jen's Sewing Room for starting this trend, which has taken off, and there's just a ton, so hashtag Friday sews, and you'll find a bunch of people doing the same thing, talking about sewing and life and you know, all of it wrapped up together. So I don't know where my channel would be without Friday Sews, to be honest with you. It has kept me consistent and I appreciate that. I mean, this is just a hobby. YouTube is just a hobby. And so um, that's been a godsend. So thank you, Jen. Appreciate it. I don't say that enough. Okay, so we're going to start with sewing. And did I say, hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my sewing room. Did I say that? I don't know. <sighs> I feel like I'm in a hurry. I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Sewing. I made another zippy bag, zippy crossbody bag, and I am so excited about this pattern. If you hear a bunch of banging, it's the kittens. They want out. In fact, I'm gonna just gonna let them out. Okay, now we don't have to listen to the little monsters because <laughs> they just wanna get their way. <laughs> All right, so I already talked about this bag last week. The Zippy crossbody bag. This was my test bag. And um, a couple of you said that it looks really good for a test. Yes, I have worn it all week. I love it. There is, I have nothing to complain about with this purse. I wish it had some interfacing in it. That was my mistake that I made with this purse. It would be much better if it was just not floppy. I don't like floppy. And um, also, it was too little. It was okay, but I just felt like it was too little. Uh, on my body, it was too little. I needed something a little bigger just for my size and, you know, just be, to be in proportion and also just to fit my wallet, fit things in it. And um, so I made my own version of this with a little bit bigger. So this is my newest one. Isn't it gorgeous? I used this piece of cork from Sally Tomato in my grab bag. If Did you see that? Did you see that video where I did a... Um, um, a haul on Sally Tomato. Oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? You're gonna be like, how boring. It's nothing special inside. It's just red, kind of a wine color red. But I wanted a basic black purse that would go with everything. And this is just a little bit of drama. Otherwise it could have been all black and I would have been happy with that because I do like to wear a lot of prints and sometimes having a print purse and a print fabric in my clothes it's just too much for me and I like you know tone it down sometimes <laughs> with my purse so now I've got a basic black and I kind of want to give you a little review of this pattern at this point without having to do a whole review video number one the videos that they have they have two videos to sew along they are fantastic really couldn't have done it without and uh, the, it, this bag is at the heart of it, just really simple and easy because they make it simple and easy. Um, so the mistake I made with this one was, and I'll tell you in the instructions, it has you doing a, a large piece of the main fabric and interfacing it with whatever you're gonna use for your bags. Um, I was using um, a, 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 a fusible fleece, I believe, and I had it all laid out, and then it said subcut, and it had all these little pieces. I didn't know that was supposed to cut it out of that big piece, so I didn't get any interfacing in my bags. I cut more pieces, so I don't know. Uh, it's not bad without it, but it's much better a little stiff, like this one. And I didn't use any interfacing with this one because this leather was stiff enough. That She said that if you had a leather. So I had my own hardware. I had my own zippers, so I ordered hardware and zippers from Sally Tomato. This is zipper tape. My first time to use zipper tape. She has a video on how to use it. It was easy. It was so easy. So um, I made my own set of problems with my second bag that I didn't have with my first bag because I wanted to change it. And when I changed it, it did present all kinds of issues. <laughs> my fault. Um, I got confused. Uh, I went ahead and I just made a big, the big piece in my new size, which I added an inch and a half on the width and an inch and a half on the length. And I love this size; it's perfect for me. So when I, I had to, I had to actually make pattern pieces because I was getting confused. 
So I just took some of my pattern paper. I actually printed the pattern so that I could have the instructions in writing and I made my own pattern pieces. And I had to write little notes to what they were and I hate rustling paper, sorry about that. I had to write myself little notes on what I changed and as I came across problems, I wrote myself some notes on my pattern pieces. So I really, I'm like itching to make this bag again, see if I can fix what I did wrong here. And some of what I did wrong was my fault and some of it is just, it just didn't work. Um, so first let me tell you what I did wrong and that is that I didn't measure my pockets correctly. I didn't get them so I actually ended up extending them because they were too short. Maybe I was, I don't know, did I even lengthen them? I don't know, I got confused. Um, the zippers are supposed to be on this side because I am right-handed but it's not bothering me. But on my next purse I want to make sure that I do that. I don't know how I did it different but I did and um, it's black on the other side and all the pockets are the same inside. They're all this maroon color, cotton, just a uh, quilted cotton. And this is the cork that was in my grab bag. Now, where my problems happened, um, I really didn't have any problems with them, with the pattern, with, with their materials, until it came to this, this being uh, vinyl instead of fabric. It just didn't want to fit in the hardware. And I don't know what you do about that because I, I feel like it should fit because um, I'm using the size that they recommended. It fit right here on the little side loops that hold the little uh, D-rings. But when it came to this one right here, this little slider, it's just not tall enough to fit everything. Um, one of the things you're supposed to do when you're making your, your strap is on the end you fold it in and then you fold it over and make the... I had to take off that end folding in just to get it to a layer that would fit in here and it's so tight. Luckily this is the size I wanted at. It's not going to be needing to slide at all but I would like to get some just some wider. I didn't want to use a bigger one because then it was sliding around this way. I just wanted it bigger this way so that this would fit because once you start folding vinyl it gets really thick. Um, I just loved everything else about it. That was that was a problem. The other thing I did wrong in my measuring is I made my zipper, my main zipper with the two little ends. See here, the two little ends. This one's perfect. I made it too long, so it was really hard to sew right there and close it. It was just it, it just it, it's bunched up right here. I can't even get it to come out. It's just. You know, maybe I can finagle it, but it's just was too, it, I needed it to be like a half an inch shorter, like a, quite a bit, like a half an inch shorter would have fixed it because I had no room to sew on the ends. So when I changed the measurements, I also feel like I didn't get a good enough curve on the bottom because it's supposed to have a little rounded, you see that rounded? And I wish it did because it's so cute. I love that little round and it's there. It just wasn't round enough. So I'll do better on the next one. Um, what else did I have trouble with? Honestly, that's all. That's all. I mean, this is so simple and easy to make. And it's just the way they have you putting it together. It's just like a wow factor almost. You're like, it's like you, you're doing this, you're sewing this, you're doing this, you're flipping that. And all of a sudden you're like, whoa, a purse is appearing. It's pretty cool. So... I'm loving it. I wore it today and it's just perfect. I love the pockets. I love this new hardware with the bling. Isn't that cute little bling on there? I'm on a search for more bling. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you've got any recommendations on hardware and bling for bag making, hit me up. Just put it in the comments and let's all start a list. So many of you have put some great ideas. We can already start some good lists on patterns and supplies. Let's just keep that going. In fact, I want to say, before I tell you about my next project, uh, thank you, hold on, Michelle um, told me in the comments, told all of us, um, so modern bags having a $25 for 24 purse bag patterns. She couldn't resist, I couldn't resist either, so I went and bought that. And um, I mean, for $24, $25 to get 24 patterns, if I use one of them, it's worth it, or maybe two of them. And I already saw a slim, wallet that I want to make to go with this bag or to go with any of my bags. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Forgot your name already. Michelle. 
I was gonna say Maureen, that wasn't right. Uh, so I've got more purse patterns in the, in the stash. And uh, I cannot have enough stash. Stash is fun. I do need to clean up my stash. It's behind the camera so you can't see it, but it needs to be organized. And I need to whip through and like have a frenzy of making things. And um, I feel like doing that, especially with purses. This is really a fun hobby. Um, I was watching Granny's sewing room today, and oh my gosh, her, her video where she said talking about everything, that was so fun. It was like visiting with a friend, except you don't get to say anything. It's like a friend who doesn't let you talk. <laughs> I wanted to say stuff. Oh my gosh. You guys say it's like that here too. It is. Uh, I wish you could say something too. But one of the things she said was, and I wanted to say she was saying somebody inspired her to do more bag making. Um, Sherry at Granny Sewing Room, you inspired me to do more bag making. So it's just a little round robin, right? The other thing she said is she's going to cut back on clothes clothes making or garment making because she's not wearing them all and I thought um, I was getting dressed to take Buster to get his stitches out and that's the only thing I was going to do because I don't want to leave him in the car it's still too warm for that so I knew I was just going to go there and come home and I got this dress out <laughs> I wore it one time for Easter and it's a pretty dress so I wore this for no reason for all, I'm wearing it for you I wore it for Buster and you know, I thought, I just need to wear it. Who cares? I'm happy. I, I felt really good in it, too. In fact, this is the Olympia dress. I think I want to make another one. I think that I have three. But I don't think I could have too many of this dress. It's a great church dress. I'm going to put a link to this video where, um, or one of my Olympia videos because I made like three of them. And they're all really pretty. Pretty. I feel pretty in them. Okay, next up is um well i want to make a dress i haven't shown the um i want to do a pattern review on this one i think it's 8214 but uh i want to make another one for football i gotta tell you you know what do you wear to a football game shorts t-shirt right no no you're sitting in the stands the sun's beating down it's on your feet it's on your legs and it just it just almost hurts it's so hot and if you had a long dress on, it's like having a, a light little soft little blanket to keep the sun off of you, but not make you hot, like you still breathe underneath. So I wear a long dress to football. <laughs> I got a hat, long dress, little umbrella, and a seat. And I'm happy. I don't care what anybody thinks what I'm wearing. So I might make another 8214. I bought some um, some light, like denim -y looking fabric, and I might wear that with tennis shoes or sandals. and. If I do, I will show you, of course. But I want to make another zippy bag. Um, I think I would like these in several colors. Whatever I'm wearing, I'll just grab that bag. And I'm thinking my next one's going to be this. What do you think about this? Navy. I mean, I don't like wearing black with navy. I like wearing navy with navy. And I love this. I showed this in my uh, Sally Tomato haul. It's kind of like nighttime and stars. And I think it goes really good with this cork. And there was... a actually a little piece of navy in there too i don't know what i'm going to put on the inside i have a navy i have a, a zipper tape of navy that i've never used i don't even remember what i bought it for but i do have the gold uh poles and i have some gold hardware so i think i'm going to make another zippy bag with my new measurements this size what do you think does that sound fun it comes together really fast if you don't make a bunch of mistakes which i did about myself I did a couple things backwards and I'm like oh, I gotta take that out nobody could take something out better than me I promise you I'm so good at it because I have had lots of practice taking things apart uh, okay I know I'm gonna make a summer dress but I do want to start on fall I'm ready to do some fall and I'll talk about that in a future video because I'm, I want to share some of my thoughts on what I'm going to do for fall and I'd love to hear yours too so let's save that for another video um, and I'm not going to stick with just bag making I still like to make clothes even if I don't wear them all I'll wear them I'm just going to wear them I'm going to wear this my Easter dress just to whatever go to the grocery store why not I think that's what I'm going to do wear them I'm going to wear them no matter what that's my new resolution here. This is still sewing, but kind of personal. I have a thing that I've been saying that I'm going to stop saying in public. If someone says, oh, what a pretty purse, I'm not going to say, I made it. 
because as soon as I say, they're like, do you sell them? How much? Where do you sell them? No, I don't. So I, why, why even tempt them? I'm not going to make this bag and put it in a store. I'm going to put it in my body and wear it around the grocery store. And the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, if I ever did make them and sell them, then I will say I made it. But up until then, I'm just going to say thank you. Same for the clothes, everything. Because as soon as I say I made it for some reason, it's just weird to me. People think I should make one for them. Friends, family, strangers. Will you make me one? No. <laughs> and the weird thing is I get like almost like angry. So my answer is not like super sweet and polite. It's not like, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm like, no. <laughs> no it's, <true. laughs> it's like no what are you gonna do for me that took you all day and a half <laughs> no so I actually I'm in a couple of sewing groups on Facebook that granny um, uh, Sherry at granny sewing room put me into and oh my gosh these women are so talented and they do make bags for sale and do um, booths and stuff and I admire them. I admire them so much because they're able to get so much done and I'm just not. Um, still such a novice at this kind of thing. I would never be able to sell this with, with the boo-boos on it. I just, I, I, I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not saying I'll never be there, but I'm not there and I don't really want. Would I have made this bag if I was trying to fill a bunch of orders? because no, I'd be busy filling a bunch of orders. And then my, my fun, I like to sit down and say, what am I gonna make now? And then my fun would be gone. So, rant over. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to say that. <laughs> I still wanna work on my fit journey. Um, that last pattern was really quite a revelation for me. So I'm looking forward to trying another one. And I think it's just gonna be a lifelong journey of trying to figure out how to make things fit just me. Um, one of the things that really helps me a lot, and I'll tell you this, is my dress form. And I have had that for, what, five years? And I, I do fluctuate in my weight up and down, but it, not enough to where the dress form needs to change that much. And basically, it's just a big pillow. So, you know, when you're trying things, you're not a hard surface like plastic, right? This still mushes a little, so it's nice to have something that you can you can pull a little and that kind of thing i love my dress form so much and she stays dressed with my latest creation whatever i've made right over there and i think i have a picture i'll put in there but i do have a video of me making it and um i just wanted to say that's one of my favorite things and jen from in jen sewing room mentioned she might try making one and i said yeah you could watch my sew along video but you have to see me making a bunch of mistakes that you wouldn't make she's much better at sewing than i am and she wouldn't make those mistakes Okay, I have a note up there to talk about personal, my personal life, and all I want to say about that is it's boring. I got nothing, you guys. I got nothing. Uh, nothing's going on. I mean, I'm just happy, like a beautiful weather. It couldn't be better. We're sitting outside on the deck in the mornings. Hubby works most nights with photography because that's the best time to shoot. If you don't know about photography, it's all about the light. And one of the best light is sunset and sunrise. And he's not gonna do sunrise. Nobody's gonna wanna meet him at that time. So it's sunset and it's so beautiful that that's, and this time of year, it's kind of late in the day, like it's later in the evening. So I don't see him a lot in the evening. So we have a nice long mornings on the deck and it has been beautiful, beautiful. We've had to get the heaters on out there it's been a little chilly but it's beautiful so I'm really loving that and uh, behind me uh, were a lot more flowers and I just thought well it was just the end of the year and they weren't blooming so my daughter was talking about deer eating her flowers turns out I went up there and looked and they were all eaten by the deer they weren't it wasn't just that time of year so I got some of uh, that smelly spray and we're spraying them and we're gonna like see if we can get a few more flowers before the end of the season and I'm kind of mad that I didn't know that they had, I had been feeding deer some beautiful flowers. What can I say? So that's pretty much all I've got. I hope you're having a great day and a great weekend. And I want to say thank you so much for coming by and visiting with me. I look forward to visiting back with you in the comments. And, um, you know, if you're into bag making, let me know if you've got any kind of sources. I'm really looking for hardware more than anything. Um, I would love to find like printed 
um, vinyl. Do they make printed vinyl? I don't know. I loved some of this cool stuff from Sally Tomato. So more stuff like that. But hardware. Where do you get hardware? I need to build a stash on that because I just have a few tiny little tiny little stash on that and I want some bling like I want some fun bling like some cool stuff uh so tell me what you're working on do you go down the list and see what everyone's working on if you do you would have seen the 25 dollars for 24 patterns right look down the comments and get to know everybody there's some really fun people in there that just have so much knowledge it's so fun to see what everybody's working on and just what everybody's up to so thank you so much for stopping by i'm here every friday if you're new to my channel and uh, sometimes in between so i look forward to seeing you next time thanks for watching bye now